Hi, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy, and I am a cruelty-free makeup enthusiast and blogger. I am so excited for this video today because we're gonna be playing with all Milani products. I have a ton of Milani products in my collection. I have everything from face products to lip products to eye products, so I'm really excited to kind of get going and play around with these. The first step that I'm going to go into is the Prime Correct Face Primer. This one is supposed to correct redness. This is for all skin types. And this one says it color corrects, neutralizes redness, and minimizes the look of pores, absorbs, absorbs excess oil for a shine-free look, and primes skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup. It's been a while since I've tried this primer. I remember liking it. Um, yeah, I have no qualms about it. When it comes out, it's kind of like a really thick green primer. So I'm just going to apply this on just to help blur out some pores. I have been a customer of Milani's for a very long time. When I first started getting into makeup, I wore a lot of Milani. They can be found in drugstores pretty much. So if you go to a CVS, they're there. I know some Walgreens have them, not around me, but I usually go to CVS to get my Milani products. But Ulta also carries them. You can shop online with them. And I believe they're actually owned by the same company as Jordana, which I have yet to try anything from, but I know a lot of people rave about that company. Also, the majority of the products that I will be using are vegan. I think everything is vegan except for the foundation. And I'm not sure about the lip glosses, but everything else is. So let's go into the foundation now. This is another oldie but goodie product. This is the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And this is in the shade 00BB Nude. I'm going to mix it with something that I love from Milani. This is the Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. This is in the shade 1 Nude Glow. This gives such like a beautiful, dewy, natural radiance to the skin. You can mix this with your moisturizer or with your foundation, um, however you want to wear it. I really like to mix it in with foundations. This foundation has a nice medium to full coverage to it. It does say it's lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, and water-resistant and sweat-proof. I can actually attest to that. I used to wear these in my early days of doing theater, and I used to wear this during performances. So I'm just going to mix these two together. What I love, too, is that they both have pumps to them. Let's see. There we go. I'm just going to do a pump and pump. Let me get something to just mix it with. If you ever really need like a multitasking brush that could also be a makeup mixer, these KVD brushes are fantastic for that. So I'm just gonna get it mixed in a little bit just to give it a little bit of glow to the skin because I feel like lately I've been a little, I, yeah, I don't know, I've been a little dull with my skin. Um, I've kind of been putting it through a lot because I think I've just been wearing, you know, my mask. Of course, it's very important to wear a mask right now. And um, I just think that that's kind of caused a bit of redness and breakouts. But I started using um, Curology. Have you guys ever heard of Curology? I keep seeing their, I kept seeing their um, commercials like on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. So I kind of bit the bullet. You send them, you know, a picture of your skin, and they they work with a dermatologist with you and they go over all your skin concerns and then they make a custom formula just for you. So I started using that this past week. I've seen a little bit of difference, but I know with skincare you have to give it time. So hopefully by the end of the summer I might be glowing. We'll see. Yeah, this is such a good foundation. It goes on so quickly too. You probably didn't need as much as I used, but you can see how quickly that just covered all my sins. <laughs> so let's go into the concealer now. So this is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade 115 Light Nude. So I'm gonna use this one. I have to say out of all my Milani products that I've tried, this isn't my most favorite. I know some people, they really, really like it. I find it to be a little bit too thick at times. So I'm really gonna just apply a tiny amount um, underneath the eye and then on the eyelid. 
to help brighten up a bit. From what I remember using this a couple times, there was a bit of creasing, not terrible. Um, I wouldn't say I have under eye bags, um, but I do have, I guess just slight natural folds underneath my eyes. I think everyone has those, but um, I remember it kind of creasing into that, but we'll see. It's been a minute. We'll give it a, a good go. We'll just use the concealer on the eyes as an eyeshadow primer. I no longer have any Milani eyeshadow palettes. They just weren't my favorite, but I know that they've put out a lot more recently, so it's been a while since I've tried one. I think it's been over a year. So we'll uh, maybe we'll try one out in the future, but I think I'm gonna use some of my bronzer and blush. It's like a really simple, pretty natural eye look. Okay, so I think we're blended out and good. We're brightened up around the eye area. I unfortunately don't have a powder from Milani or an eyebrow pencil. So the eyebrows I'm wearing PYT, and then I'm just gonna set my powder off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, my powder is set. Let's go into the bronzer next. These bronzers, oh my gosh. So Milani's have has always had really decent bronzers, but recently they came out with these. These are the Silky Matte Bronzing Powders, and these are gorgeous too. I love the print in them. If you're looking for a dupe, but that I think is even slightly better than the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, it's this one. So from the drugstore, I highly recommend this bronzer and then the e.l.f. What is it called? The Primer Infused Bronzers. Those are really good too. But this is just so silky, lightweight, easy to blend. It doesn't cake up in any way. It also has like, oh, I just dipped my nose in it because <laughs> it smells so good. It's like a light tropical scent. kind of smells like coconuts. So I'm just gonna go in and bronze. And you'll see how nice this blends too. It's just very natural. There's no harsh lines or anything. I like this bronzer too, because it's not too orange. It's definitely more cooler. I even see a little bit of hint of red in it too. Bronzer is on. We're going to put it to the side because we're going to use this for our eyes as well. Now for blush. There's a bunch of blush that is just spectacular from Milani. So you have their traditional baked blushes. These are so good. Um, I they, they have a cult following for a reason. They're totally worth the price. You can usually get them between like six and eight dollars. I think they're totally worth it. They also have the ones with the flower imprints that are quite pretty. They're not as long lasting as the baked blush formula. But then there's also these liquid ones. These are the Cheek Kiss liquid blushes. These are so good. I used the Rose Romance shade in my most recent Get Ready With Me. I'll link that up above. These are so easy to work with. They just blend right out so beautifully. You only need a tiny a bit. And um, yeah, I highly recommend these. But because I think I'm going more for some powders right now and I put powder down on my face, I'm gonna go with a powder blush. I have to go with Luminoso because this is the, you know, peachy, pinky, shimmery blush that has a cult following for a reason because it, it is really, really good. So I'm just gonna go in and apply this. So easy to work with. Yeah, that concealer, I have to say, the more that I look at it, it already looks quite creasy. It, it, I feel like it aged me a couple years. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera or not. Um, actually, it doesn't look too, too bad on camera, but up close I could, I could see a little bit of um, texture, which I was kind of hoping to avoid. I'm gonna do a blush topper. So this one is the Baked Blush in Bella Bellini. This one is just really bright. Like this could almost be a highlighter. I'm just gonna top this um, off of my blush just to give it a little bit more of a sheen. It gives this really pretty, pretty effect. Nice glowy look for the summer, I think. 
Now for highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter from Milani. This is the Afterglow in Strobe Light. This is a beautiful do you see how pretty that is? I love this. I've worn this to weddings before. It is such a good highlighter. So let's put some of this on now. Watch how this just blinds. Like, oh. You see that? Yes, we love it. It's so pretty. So this, I think, performs just as well as a high-end highlighter. And it's buildable too. If you notice, it took me just a couple dips in there to get it to this kind of intensity, but look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Actually forgot to put a little bronzer on my nose. Let me get a brush to do that. This bronzer is cool toned enough that I could kind of contour with it a little bit. Here we go. I think that looks quite nice. All right. So that is that. Shall we go right into the eyes now? I think we should. So I'm thinking we can do the bronzer in the crease and then we could probably go back into Luminoso and then put that on the lid and we could do a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. So let's just go in. Let me find a brush. Nice big fluffy crease brush. When in doubt, if you never know what to put in the crease, just grab a bronzer. I think that's a, a really effective way to just get a really natural look without being too much. Because sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll just put bronzer in my crease, put it on the lower lash line, put some mascara on, and I am good to go. Let's put something on the lid. So I'm gonna go back into Luminoso and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid, just a flat brush. If you ever want a really basic look, say you don't know what to do, or you just don't, you can't be bothered with, you know, too much makeup and you want to just be really fast about it, I always say just put your bronzer in your crease, put what you're using on your blush on your eyelids. You can pop your highlighter um, in the inner corner and on the brow bone and you're good to go. Like, there's a full face right there and it's cohesive. Now let's put that highlighter on the inner corner and on the brow bone. So I'm just going in with this eyeliner. This is their waterproof stay put eyeliner in number three, Hooked on Espresso. I just started to put that a little bit on the lash line. And I think I'm just going to blend it out a little bit, smudge it out afterwards with a brush. It's a nice deep dark brown. Next, I'm going to go into a product that I've been holding on to since last fall and I've yet to open it and try it out. This is their highly rated mascara. So they came out with a bunch of new mascaras last fall. This one is supposed to be a 10 in 1 mascara that's highly rated for a reason. Let's see, it's supposed to build, lift, dramatize for extreme volume in a single stroke for a luxurious finish. So this actually has four out of five star reviews on Ulta. So let's see how this goes. I have yet to open it. It's kind of a, th not too thick, but it's like a medium sized brush. So let's see how this goes. I remember years ago when I first started getting into makeup, I had bought a, oh, it was a Milani mascara and it was called like Grandissimo and it was the hugest, br like the brush was like this big. It was ridiculous. And I remember being, like every time I took it out, I'm like, this is just, this is ridiculous. It's the size of my whole eye. 
So I'm on coat number three right now. I do think it is coating the lashes. It is lengthening them. So it's not bad. Let me kind of zoom you in. I don't know if you want to see. Let's see. Let's zoom you in. That's what my lashes look like. They're not terrible, but I'm not overly crazy. Like, I don't think I would go out and repurchase this mascara. Now that it's open, I'm going to be, um, oh, you see me more again. Now that it's open, I think I'm going to be playing with it more, but man, not, not crazy about that. All right. So last thing of all the lip products that Milani has, my ultimate ones are the Keep It Full lip glosses. These have been my favorite. I hope they don't discontinue these. I know they've came, they've come out with a lot of different formulas recently, but this one is still my favorite. So I think we're gonna go with, let's see, I have Soft Rose, Prismatic Peach, and Luminoso, because I'm wearing Luminoso on my face, I might as well keep going with it. So let's put this on. These really plump the lips without stinging the lips or hurting. And they're such a comfortable formula as well. All right, so I think we played with everything. So that is a full face, like a natural full face look of all Milani products. How do you guys think it looks? I think it, looked, it turned out really, really nice. I feel very fresh and dewy and I feel very glowy. This is a really nice look for just every day or during the summertime. So um, it's super comfortable. Like I don't feel like I have makeup on my face. So all in all, I could definitely tell you the things that I highly recommend, which is the majority of these because I've kind of kept them around as I've tried uh, the products. So I would have to say absolutely without a doubt, the bronzer. Bronzer's fantastic. This nude glow, this is the soft focus glow. I love this as well. The liquid blushes, yes. The baked blushes, yes. The highlighter, oh my god, absolutely yes. And then the lip glosses, of course, yes. The um, eyeliner, I, I haven't played much with this eyeliner. It was fine. I'm nothing like crazy about it. And then of course the foundation is a really good drugstore foundation if you're looking for a cruelty-free foundation. The concealer, eh, it's not my favorite. It's not terrible. There is a bit of creasing, but it's not bad. But I wouldn't go out and repurchase something like this. The mascara, kind of same thing. It's okay. It gives a very fluffy look to the lashes, but for me, it's just not what I'm really looking for. for. So, oh, and then the um, primer is actually pretty decent. I have to say, this is a really nice primer. It's not overly green too. So if you're worried about like that kind of color correcting, it's, it's not like this stark green color. It's very easy to work with and blends out quite nicely. So that is it for this video, my friends. I hope you like this look. I'm, I'm really liking it. Don't mind my hair. It's kind of in a weird frizzy state again. Um, but I've been uh, really enjoying these kind of natural looking looks. Very simple, comfortable to wear. What are your favorite Milani products? Comment down below. Is there anything that I need to try? I always want to hear your suggestions. So thank you again for watching, my friends. If you made it this far, comment down a little peach emoji in the comments below because you are sweet like a peach. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and chic. Bye.